husband of the Kent MP, Helen Grant, has resigned as her senior assistant after putting her in an embarrassing position over altering staff contracts BBC South East has exclusively learned. Well, it comes after the contracts of her staff were wrongly changed to cut their sick pay, but Simon Grant's wasn't. When the parliamentary expenses watchdog raised concerns, he failed to tell his wife about it for more than two months. Simon Jones reports. Tony Williams, who works for Helen Grant, only discovered his sick pay had been cut when he needed time off for a heart operation. No such change was made to her husband's contract. I feel that I've been treated absolutely appallingly. In 2010, Helen Grant gave her staff, including Tony Williams, temporary contracts, but wrongly altered the sick pay entitlement from six months to just two weeks. She says it was to offer the taxpayer a fairer deal. Her husband was given a permanent contract as he'd already been working for her unpaid. His sick pay entitlement wasn't altered. We're told this was an oversight on Simon Grant's part and that Helen Grant wasn't aware of it. The discrepancy was noted by the Parliamentary Expenses Watchdog in August this year, but Mr Grant didn't tell his wife about it until this month. He's resigned, now others feel she should too. She should be open and honest and say to the people, here is my resignation if it will help uh, save the day. So you think she should go too? I think it's gone too far, yes. We've asked to speak to Helen Grant repeatedly about this issue, but once again she declined our request for an interview today. In a statement, Simon Grant said, failing to tell my wife about the discrepancy when it was discovered in August was an error of judgment which has put her in an embarrassing position through no fault of her own. I have gained nothing from the discrepancy itself, which was a genuine oversight. She's also faced criticism for claiming expenses of £1,600 a month to pay for a flat in London, even though her home is 19 miles from Parliament. The MP lives in Reigate in Surrey, but her expenses are calculated on where her constituency is based, meaning she is entitled to claim for a second home. There is no issue here. If she, if she wasn't delivering the right service, if she was having criticism about what she's doing in Maidstone, that's a different matter. One political opponent who stood against her in the general election isn't impressed. We're at a time when trust in all our public institutions is being knocked pretty much on every front. MPs' reputations at the time when Mrs Grant was elected were on the floor because of expenses. And we just seem to have gone through a car crash of calamities. A spokeswoman for Helen Grant has insisted she has always acted within both the spirit and the letter of parliamentary rules. Simon Jones, BBC South East Today, Maidstone. Well, our political editor, Louise Stewart, is in Westminster now. And Louise, how are these latest events being viewed by her parliamentary colleagues? Well, Rob, most of her Conservative colleagues, I think, have been supportive. You heard Laura Sands there saying just that. They say she's a hard-working local MP and minister. Um, I think, um, despite repeated requests, though, to Helen Grant for an interview, she hasn't made herself available to us today. All she's done is released this statement, which you heard from Simon Jones, explains her husband's decision to resign. So how damaging, then, is this for Helen Grant? Well, I spoke to a senior MP today who said that um, when it comes to the expenses, you could perhaps say she hasn't broken any rules. You could call it creative accounting, if you like. What they did say, though, was they thought the issue of the difference between her husband's contract and those of some of her staff was the much more serious issue, in fact. And I think what the real problem is, Helen Grant will now be hoping to draw a line under this, but the real issue is the drip, drip effect. She's been in the papers, on the television for weeks now, and it's not been stories about her being an MP or a minister. It's all been about her expenses and her office arrangements. Okay, Louise, thank you very much.